What is going on, everybody? My name is Nico, and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet 7-star raid video. We got the newest one confirmed. Decidueye is going to be coming to 7-star raids as a flying Terra type. Really cool stuff, and I want to break down some counters that I think will be pretty good for it. Again, all of these are speculation because we don't know the move set, but I want to kind of break down some ideas very early on for you all, and there will be an update video in the future. If this is your first time here on the channel, make sure you are subscribed for more videos like this in the future, but let's get into it. So first things first, like I said, we got to talk about the fact that Decidueye is coming. It is a flying Terra type with the Mightiest Mark. Again, you can only get one per save file as per usual, and it runs from March 17th to March 19th, and then the second weekend is March 24th through the 26th. Two weekends for this one, unlike Pikachu. Um, I think this one's going to be really cool, and honestly, it's going to be a little bit challenging. Um, truthfully, I think it, there is a lot of potential for this to be pretty challenging. I think electric types are definitely going to be the way to go for this Pokemon. Um, I, I've messed around with some of the other ones, you know, like ice types and rock types that are good into flying. Um, and it, it just, I haven't found one that really feels great. So Decidueye is coming. We can assume the ability is going to be long reach, uh, long reach, not long reach. I don't know why I even said that long reach. <laughs> instead of overgrow makes sense um an item is possible i don't think it's super likely but it is possible um because we did see with pikachu that they can give these pokemon items and can make things very interesting in terms of its stats i think this is just going to be a mixed attacker i think it's going to be a mixed attacker and it's going to be something we kind of have to prep for um but I, I'm not super concerned. Honestly, I mean, the typing makes things kind of interesting because, you know, like, grass plays into rock types very effectively, so that makes things very difficult. Uh, the ghost typing can hit a lot of things really hard because not a lot of things are, like, immune to ghost types. Uh, so this one definitely has the potential to be rather interesting. Now, it has access to both Swords Dance and Nasty Plot, which can make things even more tricky. Even more tricky for your team. Um... Truthfully, I think this is going to be one of the more difficult raid battles that we're going to have just because of that alone. Um, and not necessarily having a fantastic Pokemon to get in and kind of clear it. Now, in terms of the moves it'll get, it does have access to a couple fighting type moves. But I don't really know if we're going to see any of the fighting type moves. It's possible, but I, I just, I'm not 100% positive of it. I think what's likely is we'll see like uh where spirit shackle at there it is spirit shackle will be on it um I'm, i could see acrobatics being on it and then something like maybe energy ball or something to that effect uh just for all the coverage options and i think that would make a really strong set plus what you know nasty plot or sword stance that would be what i imagine this pokemon having because again i think it's going to be a mixed attacker for sure um and be just a, a challenging pokemon to break through so I've got a handful of counters here for you that I think could potentially be good into Decidueye because uh, it's just a very interesting typing that uh, really can shake things up because uh, like a lot of things are still going to get hit by one of the three types, um, which makes things kind of tricky. Like if it has a ghost type attack, there's not much that can just outright avoid a ghost type attack. Um, so I find it a very interesting raid to deal with. So. First and foremost, I have Rotom Fan. I think Rotom Fan is actually pretty good into this um, for a number of reasons. Uh, you're uh, resistant to grass type, uh, resistant to flying type a bit. Um, and then you have uh, just a neutral damage from ghost types. You could run Light Screen, Reflect, Thunderbolt, and Nasty Plot with a Light Clay. And this Pokemon is actually pretty solid, going to be able to put up pretty decent damage against this. And I think it's a, a really solid bring. Uh, for this particular raid now the ev spread would be 252 hp 252 special defense with four defense and then a uh, modest nature now obviously if this shifts uh and it is a, a mixed attacker you can kind of you know switch these around as needed to uh optimize your defensive set but i think rotom fans are really really good one for this particular raid now, one that so many people have been thinking about already is Iron Hands. Obviously, Iron Hands is going to be pretty solid into this, um, simply because of the fact that, you know, it does really big damage, and that's something that's super important. Now, I think the best spread is going to be 252 for attack and 252 special defense. The, the issue Iron Hands faces is that literally everything that it has Decidueye has is going to be neutral damage to this, right? So you're going to take hits. There's no way around that. It's not going to feel good. 
what i think is the best set is not the belly drum set because you're putting yourself in a very vulnerable position i think honestly that thunder punch uh drain punch sword stance and electric terrain is the best that way you can proc your quark drive uh with electric terrain and boost your thunder punch damage while you have sword stance up and you can kind of just use sword stance to get a little bit of health back with drain punch if necessary but then just start rocking stuff with thunder punch i think that this raid a lot more than the other ones is going to be super super important to like defensive cheer i think defensive cheer is going to help you out dramatically in this particular raid especially for pokemon like iron hands that are taking neutral damage from all the attacks Magnazone is one that I think has a ton of potential. You notice that all of these have like light screen and reflect and thunderbolt, things like that, because it just seems to be a really solid option for this particular setup. Uh, this one has analytic as the uh, ability because you're not going to outspeed a Decidueye. So having analytics really nice because you get a bonus power. And then when you Terra, you get even more power. Really, really smart. Um, light clay here because again you have access to screens thunderbolt and electric terrain this sets up uh, uh, iron hands on your team and also boosts your own electric type attacks which i think is really important and i think i know i know does the Sidui get a sleep move like sleep powder or something i'm not sure to be 100 percent honest let me look i don't think it gets sport or sleep powder i was gonna say electric terrain keeps you from going to sleep but I, I don't think that's going to be necessary for this particular raid. But yeah, I think Magnazone honestly has a lot of potential as well. Again, 252 HP, 252 special defense, four defense, and a modest nature. I think this is a really strong option to bring to this particular raid. Obviously, Miraidon is going to be really solid um, here, mainly because of the fact that it has parabolic charge. Now, the reason Iron Hands is so good into so many different Pokemon is because Drain Punch or any sort of leech move on a raid boss is super great because you're able to drain so much health back like you pretty much can reset your health every turn with a leech move like i used toad scroll on pikachu once i terrad every single giga drain i used restored my toad scroll to full health so that's something you really have to be aware of with these drain moves and parabolic charge is a really solid option for that so i have calm mind parabolic charge light screen and reflect obviously you don't need electric terrain on this thing because you can set it uh, yourself when you throw it out and your special attack is going to spike because of that so the spread is 252 hp uh 184 defense and 72 special defense with a modest nature i think this is a super solid option with a magnet in its hands um to just kind of set up with calm mind set a couple screens uh and honestly you may not even have to if you have other pokemon that are mainly focused on screens or like weakening the opposing pokemon you could just start spamming calm mind going with parabolic charge and just start doing crazy damage the last one is a kind of interesting one that I added uh, simply because of the fact that it is a relatively bulky Pokemon and I think it has a lot of solid options for dealing with this particular raid. So I have a Torkoal here. Torkoal, I mean, you could throw like Drought on it. Um, I, honestly, I think Shell Armor might be better because you're not really using any uh, fire type attacks here, but you have a citrus berry on here with amnesia to boost your special defense because that is your weakest defense stat here then you have clear smog rock slide for super effective damage and curse to boost your uh, attack and your defense i think this is just a solid option in case it does have sword stance or nasty plot uh you're able to go in and clear smog and you're not going to be getting rocked by any of the attacks that this pokemon has right you're going to take damage, but you're not going to get absolutely obliterated like uh, like a Moongus would from a flying type attack or like Gastrodon would from a uh, grass type attack. This Pokemon has uh, a better coverage options than going in with a clear smog to reset the raid for everybody. So I think that this is a really solid option if you wanted to bring a clear smog Pokemon uh, to this raid and it's got good defensive options and a ability to set up your rock slide and i know everybody assumes you know torkoal's a special attacker but it's attack and it's special attack are the exact same so i think going in with curse and rock slide is a really good way to get in and do some work especially considering that you're only dropping your speed with curse uh and you don't really have any speed to begin with so i think this is a super strong option if you wanted to have a good uh clear smog user into this particular raid boss but those are the things that came to mind immediately for this particular raid um another option uh that i thought about was king gambit uh king gambit could be very good into this raid simply on the fact that it resists everything it resists flying it resists um grass it resists ghost 
so it, it resists everything that this pokemon could throw at you um the only variation uh on why this pokemon would not be good would be if they decided they were going to put a uh fighting type move on decidui if def the fighting type move isn't there i think this is a really solid bring truthfully and you could do something along the lines of let's see here do, do, do i know it gets a rock type move where is it at i mean you could do rock to him and just sword stance up a bunch and then go in that way i think that's going to be your best play of uh, if you do opt for the king gambit and in case it has any sort of stat lowering moves you just run defiant it'll boost you even farther and you'll be able to set up on this but uh in terms of other moves you could run you could set thunder wave um let's see here i mean you could even run assurance assurance would probably still be good because you're probably going to get hit first every turn so i think that would still be a pretty solid option for this particular pokemon you could do something like this i think king gambit has potential to be good i don't think it's the best bring but again it resists everything which gives you a, a pretty big advantage against this pokemon but those are the things like i said that immediately come to mind for this particular raid once we know more i'll have an updated video on this on new builds and stuff that i think are going to be worth using in this particular raid these are just early speculation builds but if you found the video entertaining and helpful leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future if you want to see more from me check out this video uh well actually just check out all these videos i have videos covering moveset guides for all the ruinous legendary pokemon check those out really cool stuff um and vgc they're added in series three and i think they're all going to be really good in their own ways so check out all those videos but until next time peace